Log into OLT Web using the root or admin account. Navigate to configuration and access the loopback detection page. The loopback detection feature is initially disabled. In this page, the settings for all loopback detection functionalities are visually presented through diagrams and lists. Initiate the global settings for loopback detection. Without this, the individual port settings will not take effect. Set the loopback detection interval, representing how often ports will undergo loop detection. We set it to 15 seconds. For demonstration, apply loopback detection settings to GE2 and GE4. Select GE2 and GE4 for batch settings. Click Batch Edit. Enable loopback detection. Managed state means choose the response strategy when a port detects a loop. Block is to send an alarm and block the poor. RT simultaneously. No learn means send an alarm while prohibiting the interface from learning new MAC addresses. Shutdown refers to send an alarm and close the port. Trap is to send an alarm but take no further action. For demonstration, select trap. Loopback packet VLAN monitors a specific VLAN. If unnecessary, leave it blank or disable it in the toolbar above. Loopback detection recovery time is the time it takes for a port to redetect and reopen after implementing a response strategy. Set it to 60 seconds. Click Confi RM to complete the settings. Once set, both the diagram and the list will reflect the changes. GE2 and GE4 will show the trap icon and state in the list changes from not applicable to normal. Managed state displays the applied response strategy. Individual settings. Click edit for discrete settings, similar to batch settings but for a single port. Modify the response strategy for GE2 to no learn. Similarly, Set the response strategy for GE4 to shut down. After the changes, both the diagram and the list will reflect TH. E updated response strategies. Next, create a loop on GE2 and GE4 to verify if loop detection is functioning. Note that the OLT may not immediately generate an alert when a loop occurs due to the configured detection interval. Wait for a moment and refresh the page. GE2 and GE4 will turn red in the diagram, indicating a loop on these ports. In the list below, the state of both ports will change from normal to detected. Now, test the recovery process. After detecting a loop, GE2 will redetect and reopen after the configured recovery time. Wait for a moment and refresh the page. After the recovery time, GE2 will no longer be read, indicating a return to normal. According to the no-learn strat, Edgy, GE2, reopens as it detects that the loop no longer exists. However, GE4, remains blocked. Following the shutdown strategy, the port remains closed even after the recovery time. Manual reopening of the port is required. Note that ports using link aggregation like GE3, cannot simultaneously enable loopback detection. The option to enable loopback detection for GE3 is disabled.